Just be careful when you get them. I'm gonna put them up. There you go. There you go. You can't see them. Can you see them? There you go. There you go. Here 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 you go. Get them, Q. Bam. Bang. 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 Your dreams is real life, waiting to be brought into fruition. You feel what I'm saying? So stick by that. Do that. Be about that. No matter who trying to tell you, that ain't life. You know what I'm saying? Cause I got to do what I got to do. So about you. It's line with the DermsportFishing.net. It's your boy Dub, and you are watching another episode of Dub's Fishing Journey. We're gonna do a little fly fishing today, folks. Down here at the Trinity River, Fort Worth. They stocked uh, a couple thousand nice sized trout in this water right here. So, uh, Dub brought the fry rods. Some power bay worms, some power Berkeley power worms, and some flies. We're gonna see if we can't catch a six nice size rainbow trout up out of here. The guy hooked on right now. They literally are in ankle deep water right now. And there's some big ones too. So no bull corner. Let me get to it. Oh, he got a little one on there. Let me get to it, man. kind of set them up I got my smaller set up you know I got a fly on that one and uh my bigger setup I'm gonna be throwing a Berkeley worm on it. so it's gonna be similar to crappie fishing though I'm gonna put a float on this thing and I'll show you what's up in the set all right fam so here we go here's the setup I got about a 14 foot heavy duty rod this rod will probably be used for like some salmon or some steel here see why I'm using it today. Some pretty big trout they stock in here. And uh, we're gonna see if we can have a little fun with them. Uh, on the end of this, birthday power worm, nothing special. Small G head, small as you can get away with. And about three foot of line, then an indicator. Float, whatever you wanna call it. Stay tuned, let's catch us some trout. All right. I don't think I should have to wade too far. The water's pretty murky. We had some rain. I'm gonna start out by flicking this float out there. Measuring about how much line I wanna keep out there. We gonna go from there. There is no, no exact science to this, I'm sure. These are stalker trout. Let's get us a bite though. It's line everywhere. It's line everywhere. I was just hung in line right there. Crazy. I'm gonna have to walk over a little bit. I know where these fish usually hold at though. I'm not deep enough. Oh yeah. Big rod. Big rod. Probably walk out to my knees a little bit past. All right, fam. So I'm out here. <laughs> Just missed one. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn my camera on right now. That was a decent fish right there. So, but all I'm doing right now is flicking that barber set up with that worm and letting it just kind of ride the current. I'm actually kind of stripping this, but I'm letting it ride the current a little bit and I'm just noticing how that indicators getting small ticks and that's when I'll set the hook so that last bite I just got he laid on it and I set the hook I fought him for a second and I lost him so we'll set the uh, we'll turn the camera on now so see if we can't get one on camera which I know will happen it'll happen I might go to my smaller setup just because I'm more comfortable with it 
I'm moving it ever so lightly. Just giving it a little life, a little action. Keeping it in their face as long as possible. They jumping and everything. Jumping and everything. I just can't get that hook in them, man. I'm trying. I'm trying my damnedest. Got a hold of that rock, though. Got a hold of that rock. Couldn't hook a fish, but I can hook a rock fish. I finally hooked in the one. Y'all didn't get a chance to kick it, but I got his ass. So, let's get him out of here. It's a pretty big trout, too, so. I'm gonna play him real nice. Come on, dog. Come on, see if we can get him to jump again. Oof. I just had to make a little adjustment. I put my smaller rod on. And uh, here we go. Let's get him, though. I got him, though. Come on. Oh. Come on, come up for the people. Come up for the people. Come up for the people. Come on. Coming to this net. Oof. Man, he erupted out that water, though. Come on, Big Daddy. Come on, Big Daddy. Come on. Come back to me. Come back to me. That's a good trout. Come on, trout. Come on, 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 come on. Oof. Oof. Come on, come on, come on, come on, Big Come on, big baby. <laughs> you just in time, huh? Just in time. Just in time. I got him. I got him. I ain't really been fighting her that long. It's a yeah, it's a good one. Uh, I should walk him out. I might as well walk him out. I got one right here. It's stuck to me though. I got him. Don't worry about it. I'm gonna put him right in his net. I'm gonna put him right in the net. Yep. Got him. Got him in the net. That's my first one. Ooh, my camera just went off. Oh, this show just came on. Oh, that show was coming on. Whew. Perfect time. Man. Oh, man, folk. Whew. Let me put this blood, I mean, black out real quick. Whew. That's my first one. I got a serious tangle going on right here. I was like, I got my net. I got my net, my line. I go, hold on. It's going down over here. Oh, Bro, I got lying all in my hair. Look at that, folk. Look at that, folk. That's my first one. I told you. I told you that big rod. I had that big rod out for a reason, but it wasn't working like I wanted it to because I had that sinking line on it. I switched to the floating line, put the same setup on, and bam, here we go. That's the first one. Oh, Buster Fonte. Y'all say what's up to Buster uh, Fonte. It's about to go down. It's, it, 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 it's going down. Look at this. You know what I'm saying? We ain't, we, ain't, we ain't playing no games today. So let me get y'all a better look at this right here, and I'll be right back. All right, folks, here we go. There he is. There she is. We gonna take out that net real quick. Show you how big these fish are. My little four weight right there. Damn, four weight rod. So, uh, told y'all earlier what we was fishing with. Now you see it in the beak of this fish mouth, man. This is this is not this is not like traditional fishing, man. We we don't get this every year. We I mean we get this every year, but we don't get this all year round. These fish are stock fish, so they do eat presentations like this. So this is he was never coming off of there, no, but he wasn't coming out of there. Never coming off of there. But yes, it's my first one. I got some more. Uh, man, that's my first one. I'm gonna hold them up for you. Then I'm gonna let Weezy get back to what he's trying to do. It's going down today, boy. Uh, uh, there you go. There you go. Let me pick a hook. Let me pick a hook, man. And you know that he's going home, so. Yeah, you know he's going to the crib. Yeah, he's going to the crib, Texas. Yeah, that's a good one right there, boy. Let me give me a better shot of him. Get my little hands out the way. And I'll let that. Yeah, that's 
a better one right there, folks. There you go. That's what we came out here for this morning. We're gonna put this one on the stringer, and we're gonna get back to it. Y'all stay tuned. Get your line with every sport fishing that net. Bang, bang. Bang. <laughs> All right, folks. Let's wade back out there and get another one. Which one? Yeah, I got four pound chest in there if you want that. Oof. Let's get us another one. That really, that feel good, baby. That feel good. Good. It's the closest thing to a salmon run we gonna get in Texas, so gotta take full advantage of this. Might smoke these fish too. They taste real good smoked. about the action you get a bait it's kind of trying to follow their current scene Tell them folks. Describe when the men don't do the switch you can see like this indicator now and i can't jump. see nothing in here but like believing i can fly you best believe it is real. you doing me here <laughs> come on come on <laughs> i don't stop i don't quit no i know i could have bubbled on oh. That's number two right there, folks. So I got him on the back line, so we gonna fight him. Get him out everybody's way. I got my drag set on this one. Woo! Come on, Weez. What you doing, baby? Come on. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Come on, Weez. <laughs> oh, man. You gonna keep fighting him slowly. It's another good one. Man, just take it all off. You might well take it all off. I'm gonna I'm keep fighting him slow. I'm gonna walk to him. Let's walk to him. Let's get to him. Let's get to him, folk. I got four pound test on my tippet. Man, that's a big trout. That's a big trout. I got four pound test on my tippet. Oh. Man, boy, he about to beat yourself. Look at this. Oh, come here. Catch up to him. Look at him down in there. Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> come on, we. Come on, baby. I had him, shit. Out. Come on. 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 Into the niche, big mother. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <God. laughs> bang, bang. Hey, folk. Man. That was a good fight right there. So that's uh, that's number two right there. I'm going to clean them up for you. That's bigger than the last one, man. We gonna, we gonna clean them up. They came off a yellow worm, yellow power bay worm, all in his mouth. But uh, like I said, these are stocker fish, so that's why we're not really wetting our hands or any of that good stuff. These fish are going on the stringer and probably going on the smoker. So uh, stay tuned, stay tuned. We're gonna keep getting these boys. I'm gonna try to get some cast to catch. So let's see if we can do something. <laughs> 
can't keep a job, but I'm steady working shifts, graveyard days, all day long. There you go. They sitting in this little pot right here though, bro. Like it's a little, that little in and out. It's a matter of time before I give me another dip, dude. I'm not really fishing that far in front of me. These fish don't seem to be spooked by us. Let me get another one up out of there. I've been good. Like earlier, they came through here and I was standing right here. They was just like, foo, 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 foo. Yeah, I was like, damn, yeah. That's why I was like, man, I'm gonna stay right here. It's the same spot I was last year when I smacked them up. Slide over there to the right a little bit. I got a clusterfication going on, but uh, Q just hooked him one. So, yeah, check this out. We, we try to not keep him that way because you're ah. Oh. <laughs> it's all right. Did he break off? Oh. Family. So, uh, I'm gonna try another little area. Bite kind of died out over there. I got those two and a few short bites after that, so I'm gonna try over here and see what's up. This water's a lot more shallow than what I was just fishing in, so. Thank you, baby. I can't. I know they there, though. Like I said, this is Fort Worth. I'm in the Trinity River. You are watching Doug's Fishing Journal. Bang, bang. Bam, this pops. So this is what happened when Doug drops off two 19 inch fresh trout. Well, my food saver saved me last night. So of course I just gutted them out, put them in my ceiling bag. No house should be without one and get them ready for today. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna um, kind of have a little nice recipe here for trout with garlic, lemon, butter, herb sauce. So we're gonna give that a try, of course. We got Mr. Trout, first of all. We have butter, minced garlic, olive oil, Italian seasonings, fresh pepper, and sea salt, of course, lemon. And it calls for white wine, but I'm gonna use white wine vinegar. Now, I will tell you up front, I am not a professional filleter, so some things might be better handled off camera. So what we're gonna do is me and Mr. Trout gonna talk here, and we're gonna take a break, and we'll come back, and hopefully we have a couple of nice fillets, okay? Okay, so we're gonna get started here. Hey, Mr. Trout, let's go. Okay, we're back. Me and Mr. Trout had a talk. I convinced him. So we got him nice and filleted. Looks pretty good. Yeah. Don't tell Dub, because he might not let me fillet any fish anymore, but I think I did a pretty good job. So we got two really nice fillets here. Now trout, I think, is a little bony, so sometimes you will have some bones, some bones in there, but overall, I think I did a good job. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna get this out of the way real quick, so I'll be right back. And what we'll start with is just putting a little salt and pepper, of course, on the trout. ground pepper is always the best. And then we'll flip it. Other side. So what we're gonna do is now we're gonna, of uh, course, put some olive oil in our skillet and we're going to uh, do a little pan searing of the trout. And 
Let that warm up. And we'll bring these a little closer. We'll use, this is going to be used later. We'll talk about that in a second. So of course, trout's going to be the main dish, but we'll do some spinach and mushrooms on the side, sauteed spinach and mushrooms. And um, then we'll do a little rice cauliflower as well. Uh, maybe sop up some of this herb sauce with that rice cauliflower. Okay, so we'll start now. And we will put our trout in. Get a little hand fine going on there. So we got a nice little brown on our trout. We flipped them over a couple of times, or at least once anyway, uh, in the process. I'm going to add some butter here. And then also going to add some garlic, we love garlic in this house. And some lemon juice. And some white wine vinegar. Again, I want a nice little sauce so I can kind of sop and do other things. And then I'm also going to add some Italian seasonings. And then we're going to kind of let this simmer. And we're going to come back to that, but we're going to work on some other things we'll let that work so we cleaned up our space a little bit uh, got the trout it looks great we're going to plate that in a little bit but we're going to work on our sides now a lot of this stuff of course we do a lot of fresh stuff one thing that's not fresh i'm going to go ahead and tell you just rice cauliflower we're going to microwave that that's going to go under our trout but we're going to do uh some spinach and mushroom and onion here and of course um, um Start with some butter. Butter is always a good thing. More butter is better. And then, of course, we're going to add to that, as we said in this household, garlic is always a good thing. We're going to add the onions to this mixture. And we're going to go ahead and add the mushroom. And we're going to let this kind of cook down a little bit because, of course, it takes a little longer for the mushrooms to cook down as well as the onions than it will for the spinach. And so we're going to let this work. And we're going to take a quick break. I'll see if there's any beverages around here. You can see onions getting nice and soft. Uh, mushrooms get nice and soft, got a lot of butter down there. So we're going to start adding the spinach. And the thing about it, you know, if you've ever cooked things like greens, you know, you, you add them and then they cook down. And so this is going to be kind of a stirring, stirring it and cooking down process that goes on here as we add in the spinach. And so we just kind of add in a little bit, stir it around a little bit. So, I'll kind of tilt this a little bit as you can see. All that spinach cooked down to just a little bit. Just enough for one plus, I guess. We'll see. <laughs> so we're going to add just a little salt. Stir that around. And 
And then to this one, we're gonna add a little white ground pepper, or ground white pepper, however you'd like to say it. And so this is pretty much ready. So the cauliflower, uh, rice cauliflower has been going in the microwave. And so we're gonna get ready here and we're gonna plate this up and we're gonna give it a try. Okay, we plate everything up. Like I like the little sauce, so we're gonna put a little more on top there. Okay, and then we're gonna add our cauliflower. What do you think? I think that's pretty good. So it looks good. Let's see. Test. I think that's excellent. Thank you guys for watching. And I'm not going to make y'all watch me eat this. So have a blessed day. I got a big ass stump or something. I'm talking about I got something so big as what I got. I caught a turtle on the fly. I caught another turtle on the fly. Well, I told you, ain't nobody colder than your boy. Ain't nobody colder than your boy. I don't know nobody colder than me, though. <laughs> I literally know nobody colder than <laughs> Baby, hey, I'll tell you like this, kids. Y'all keep whatever you want to keep. You keep whatever you want to keep, babies. Here, let daddy get him. Let daddy get him. Let daddy get him. Hey, I don't know who catching turtles on the fly, but Dub is literally the guy that catch turtles on the fly, right? All right. Hey, say, bro, you tripping, man. What I got on you? Come here. I'm going to give him to my little girls. My little girls on the bank right now, man. I got the whole family out here right now. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, let them play with this while they doing what daddy do. You know what I'm saying? Yes, bro. I caught him. <laughs> I caught a turtle <laughs> on the fly. <laughs> no, I'm gonna call a turtle. This is not the first time, though. This is not even the first time. Yeah, just hold him like you see how far daddy got him down. Y'all see my babies? These my babies. These my babies, huh? Uncle Quincy. They got a little Aubrey. They got Big Maddie over there, and then Dub got a turtle. So, here, you do what you do. I'm gonna put them on the bank with y'all. I'm going to put him on the bank with y'all, and yeah, y'all do what y'all do. Just make sure he gets back safely and healthy. You know what I'm saying? Hey, don't pull him away. I will hurt you. He running. He out of there. He on there. <laughs> Look at She about to grab him. <laughs> oh, man. Me and, me and old Buster Fonte still out here, man. This is the second little stretch of the, uh, of the video. We took a little old break. I went and got my little ones, and now we back. So I'm going to catch me. I'm gonna catch me, I'm gonna try to catch me three to make my limit of the day. So, y'all stay tuned, man. Hooked up. I just missed that same bite right there. You just came to the same spot and hooked up. Yeah, there you go. There you go, baby. I got you. You on my camera. It's, it don't matter, bro. It's your first one on the fly. You know what I'm saying? It don't even matter. See, we done lost, we done lost bigger and we done lost smaller. But right now, your boy is in the Trinity River with your boy Buster Fonte and we catching him on the fly. It's your boy. Does fishing journal, man. I don't know who doing it like we doing it, bro. Ain't nobody doing it like we doing. It. Say what? What we? Huh? Oh, let me get closer. They bring him over here. Bring him over here. Bring him over here. Look over here. Yeah, with the donkey. Yeah. Uh, uh. Bang 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 bang. Yeah. Yeah. It's done. I just literally just missed a fish, man. Hopefully this bite about to turn on. On the fly. I'm gonna let Q do his thing, man. We gonna keep doing what we doing. So let's get us one on camera real quick and we'll make it a video. I done been to the house. I done came back, picked up the kids, all that type of stuff. So we're gonna try to get us another look. We're gonna try to get us another couple fish. Three will make my limit right now. So I'm gonna try to catch me at least another three and then I'm gonna get up out of here. We'll probably come back in the morning. So, but same game. Got my four way rod indicator about four foot of line and then i got me a jig head and a berkeley power worm that has a literally has a scale on it right there 
that's a scale right there. So I, I know I'm not tripping because I literally just missed a fish that either Q either missed or it's some more fish with them. But them fish are starting to bite now. Let's see if we can't get them up out of there. It's probably like five o'clock now. And that's what we call the evening bite. So they should turn on for us in the evening. We should be able to get a couple up out of here on camera. They sitting on this ledge right here. Flick it out there a little bit. I done caught me two really good trout today, so I, I'm not even, I'm not even tripping. If I catch me one or two more, I'd be, I'd be elated. But it really ain't nothing, dog. I'm out here trying to make a video right now at this point. Hopefully, I catch me some more. Put on the smoker. It's still a good one though. Good fish though. Definitely a good fish. Definitely a good fish. But literally, I like I told you, bro. Like I told you, got him. My job, yeah. This one for the money. They say do what you love. I say this is how I'm coming. You gonna come on? I got him, folks. They might even got that on camera though. That's a big one. Say, say, boo boo. Say, boo boo. Give me the dig that in the net. That's a good one. Oh shit. Come on now, baby. This your boy. So, yeah, that just happened. Y'all seen that. I just flicked it over there. And look at that trout. Oh shit. It's number three of your boy. It's number three for the day. So, I'm going to try to play him real cool. All three of these have been really nice trout. So, I'm going to walk him back. My little girl. Oh, actually, cute. Bunch of trout out the mix. So, hopefully, I ain't going to have to do no. Right here. Right here. He right here on us. Oh, he gone. He's seen as he gone. He seen as he gone. He seen as he gone. You gonna you gonna get him? You gonna scoop him? I see him right here. He right in front of him. Right there. Ooh, that's a monster. That's a monster. I'm gonna let him do it. I got that four pound on him, and I'm working him. I'm working on him. I got him. Just be careful when you get him. I'm gonna put him up. There you go. There you go. You can't see him. Can you see him? There you go. There you go. Here 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 you go. Get him, Q. Bam. Bang. 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 Bang, bang. You see my little monsters over there? They banging something too. <laughs> it's a generational bond. Bang, bang. Woo. Here, let me go, sorry. They got me crawling. Hold on. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me give me, give me, hold on. I got you real quick. That boy Buster Fonte got me, man. If ain't nobody got me, he got me. That's a big boy. He swallowed it too. Look at that. Uh, grab my worm for me. See that worm below you? Grab that worm below you. Thank you. Put it in your. I'll get it from you. I'll get it from you. Let me go ahead and take care of Ooh. I'll give y'all a better look at this fish, you know? So, like I said, we've been throwing perfectly power weight worms on four pound test tippets. And this is what we doing right here in Fort Worth, Texas. Do you hear me? In Fort Worth, Texas. We doing this in Fort Worth, Texas. Bang, bang. Get your line wet early. <coughs> fish man, that is your boy. You know who I am. This boy egging, bro. It's in our eggs, bro. Bro, I'm talking about eggs, bro. Eggs, bro. Daddy, she Eggs, bro. Ew. Ew, that's nasty. Ew, ew like ew. But look I at this, bro. This is eggs, like bro. This is like salmon eggs. Put the, put the camera on there. Put the camera on there. They look like salmon eggs. This is crazy. Ew. Eggs, bro. Eggs. They coming up out this damn trout. Too bad we in Texas and these she'll never get to reproduce. Damn, that's crazy. She just threw them. She just threw them in the water. Dad, I told you she looked like you was dookie. Yeah, she was. She was. Oh, I did it now. Ooh. My God. Oh, I wasn't recording. Oh, my God. That means it's like, dude. <laughs> oh, wow. They got guts coming out. Yep, that's it. Blood, guts, whatever. It don't matter. That's nasty. That's a good one right there, man. That's what about is in his mouth? <laughs> I, ain't gonna, I don't even know how big these fish are. Oh, that's your finger. Yeah, that's my finger right there. I didn't mind. But yeah, he won't be going back, so. We eating him. Yeah, we eating him. <laughs> so, let's go and get back in the water. Hey fam, so I'ma go ahead and end this video right here because it's about to get dark and I'm not done. So at the end of this video, I show you everything that I caught today. But definitely, we got our line with you know that my boy Buster Fonte. Y'all go check him out on Urban Sport Fishing TV. You know what I'm saying? Anybody wanna holler us about the jigs and flatfish jigs and all that stuff like that? Y'all holler us on Instagram, 
Facebook and stuff like that at Urban Sport Fishing. So I appreciate y'all watching. Appreciate the support. You wanna say something, poo poo? Bang. Bye. Bye. She knocked my burr over. Knocked my burr over, but hey, bang bang. And I'll see y'all later.